is it too much to ask for a little perspective? Like, seriously, just a little perspective. Because all I've heard for days now uh, in the 24-7 Warhawk media mind-numbing nonsense fuck factory has been that Russia done did disable the U.S. drone. Um, and the U.S. is angry because it's in international airspace, but it was like right off their border in the, like over the Black Sea, and it's like a military drone. I don't like the Russian government, just to be absolutely clear. You know, Putin is a fascist. It's a repressive anti-freedom regime. And I'm not just playing that as a bit, like, to get the gods of YouTube to not strike down this video, right? I'm not just saying that. I genuinely believe it. I oppose all governments. I'm an anarchist. But, holy fucking shit, am I tired of a lack of perspective. Especially since this lack of perspective has the potential to drive us to fucking nuclear war. You know, maybe we should fucking give a shit about reality, about what's actually going on. Because, I gotta tell you, it's, it's the opposite of refreshing. When the drone country flew a drone next to another military power and said that it's insane for this military power to shoot it down. The Cuban Missile Crisis was when an entire body of water was between Russian arms and the U.S. And there's not even enough perspective in the common person to say that maybe... If the U.S. can say that an entire body away, you can't have Russian arms without brinksmanship and a crisis, that maybe U.S. weapons on their borders and U.S. drones in their sky is going to fucking provoke a response. And, and you know, oh no. That's too far back, right? You know, and the same person would probably also ignore uh, what I said in my weather balloon video about the fact that the U.S. sent spy aircraft into Russian airspace frequently before. But how about the recent shit with the weather balloons in the U.S.? How about the fact that the U.S. thought they were being spied on and immediately jumped to calling things Chinese fucking spy balloons? How about the other shit that they just called UFOs and ramped up all the alien panic because we've got to distract from all the fucking crises we've been causing here at home? Our military industrial complex is all our other industrial complexes. The economy's dying. Banks are collapsing. But oh no, Russia's scary because they fucking took down a drone. A little perspective. Maybe the US is the scary one because they used so many drones that they canceled the reporting mandate. Obama was called the Drone King because Obama used so many drones that, that the civilian casualties and the, the, the deaths in general and the destruction ramped up the charts and allowed for an increase in the war on terror, which has really always been the U.S. manufacturing their own enemies for the purpose of engaging in international conflict 
without congressional approval because they didn't call it a war. They called it authorization, authorization for use of military force. You know? The U.S. used so many drones that Obama was called the Drone King. And then when Trump wanted to use drones but not be called the Drone King, he just said we don't have to say how many we're using anymore. He struck down Obama's ruling, his sort of, his sort of mandate, that you report your drone uh, use. At least it was an Obama-era mandate, right? So Trump probably used more drones than Obama, and he certainly like really ramped up the use of these drones right before taking down this mandate, and Biden hasn't put it back up. It's strange how the alternative to Trump hasn't reversed his fucking decisions! Everybody wants to blame Trump for the fact that SVB was corrupt. And all these financial institutions were corrupt. They want to say that Trump slashed the regulations and that's the reason this is happening. But Biden had a choice to not do that and he didn't! Yeah, I'm so sure that, that Trump was the, the, the key problem in the, uh, in the Ohio train derailment. While Obama is protecting the responsible company from indemnity. While he's actively working to quash any sort of, you know, efforts by the citizens to be made whole in the Supreme Court. He's trying to fuck you and you're still blaming Trump. And while all this is happening, the U.S. is engaging in arms tactics that it would say were Cuban Missile Crisis level of bullshit if Russia did it. If Russia was flying military drones near Florida, it wouldn't matter that it was international territory. <laughs> Those would get shut down before they even got there! Can we get some perspective? Like maybe the Drone King country, which has increased its ability to use drones and removed all accountability from drone use. Flying a drone next to another country, which it's already supplying arms to an enemy of, might be a problem in the same way that it would be if the roles were reversed. Can we get some fucking perspective in here before we all die? I'm not terrified, I'm angry. I'm angry that so few seem willing to fucking get it. That so many are trained on the television. That they have no fucking concept of the world around them except the fucking bullshit they're fed. And now we're heading for international conflict, the likes of which we might never have seen before. A World War III, because, you know, the best things come in threes, so you got to complete the threequel. you got to complete that series and finish your warmongering, right? And nobody is willing to get the kind of perspective necessary to even understand that maybe flying a military drone next to a country where you're already arming their enemies is going to fuck with them. In the same way that if they did that to you, it would fuck with you. The, the US accused Russia of election meddling and pissed Russiagate all over your timeline. For, for, for media campaigns, social media campaigns. Meanwhile, the CIA has been funding media campaigns to do regime change forever. As long as it's existed, it's had programs to do that. The CIA has Radio Free Svoboda, 
a literal Ukrainian news site paid for by the CIA, which is considered the cream of the crop. If media campaigns, if media relations are an excuse to say that people interfered in an election, then the U.S. is the all-time reigning champ of media-fueled election interference. If drones are a reason to, to uh, you know, to shoot down weather balloons, not only one that verifiably belonged to China, that they knew belonged to China, that they knew was a weather balloon, but multiple UFOs, which were also probably weather balloons off the north coast, off the north border there, that they knew were non-threatening because they weren't posing a threat, and because shit like this flies around all the time, they spent $1.5 million shooting these things down! And they're acting like it's an exotic act for Russia to do this with one of their drones when it's known that that's a drone? When they spent $1.5 million to shoot down things that weren't verifiably military? What? I'm angry because this seems to be a fucking pattern where people can't get their shit straight long enough to realize that maybe this is the kind of perspective they should get. That if this shit happened to them, they wouldn't let it stand. And maybe a little bit of common empathy and decency and understanding for our fellow human being rather than this xenophobic, jingoistic garbage where there's always a foreign bad guy that we can blame like the boogeyman. Maybe that would be better to actually see each other as human beings. But no, it's the scary Ruskies and they shot down our military hardware and this is a grave sin against humanity. Blast the news with it, you know? Blast the news with it. Do that. All the time. Scare the shit out of people. Project Fear. They'll, they'll forget about that in two weeks. They'll forget that the government leaks like literal admissions that they use things to scare the shit out of people. So that they'll comply. And then people will comply out of fear again. And again. And again, all the fucking time. It's mind control. It's mind control at the highest level, from the highest echelons of power with the most reach and the deepest wallets. It's mind control and it needs to stop, but it won't stop until people get some goddamn perspective. And I'm so angry that it seems in such short fucking supply. And I'm so sad that all these people need to die while people fail to ascertain that they would do the same thing in the same position. If not worse. Fucking shame on you if you're spreading this fear-mongering campaign. Fucking shame on you. Yeah, Russia, the government sucks. If I said about the Russian government what I say about the Russian government as an American citizen, as a Russian citizen, I would be gulagged by the fascist piece of shit Putin. But you know what? Shooting down a military drone on your borders isn't fascism. It's what everybody would fucking do if they had the resources. And they didn't even shoot it down. They just bumped it. I just want us to get some goddamn perspective before we all burn to death in a nuclear fire. Can we fucking get some of that fucking perspective? Or are we doomed? I'm genuinely fucking curious. Because I am tired of a lack of perspective and I am tired of people acting like they're above it. While they support Nazis just because the media tells them that they're not that bad. Fuck this fascism. Fuck the media. Fuck the fear mongers. Fuck the lack of perspective. 
and fucking smash the state.